Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Curry's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good guy. Captain Jimenez. He's the only doctor we've had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what he's doing. Radio me if you do. Copy that. Trial. Then, uh, but right. Anyway, just reporting in. Hey, Saint John. You on duty tomorrow? I forgot to check the roster. Yeah, yeah. Check yeah. That. yeah. Good. The CEO has been on four days straight. Don't they can do that? Did he do it? Yeah. Well, then I guess they can't. We got a lot to do. It's not a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. But shit, huh? Well, come on. Writing is pretty hard. Not hard enough. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth Ooh, shall set you free. To play Before the shit went down, bunkers, you talked about right global around. conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got in first. But someone well. betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Nero's got a clear hand in this, but they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack.
zombies. Good. Okay. Time to finish this. What do you think now, huh? Somebody shoots back. How do you like that? No! 
now you're gonna burn! <laughs> Gotta finish this. Scrap, good. Here you are. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. See how, you know, how everything's going. Good. Good, Dig. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. I guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. 
Yeah, you too. Finish burning out this infestation zone. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey, come to me. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out of it. Ah, look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit. It's gonna be for me. And do. This napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Alright, Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? You gotta take a closer look. I gotta find a way inside.
Taylor. Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never. Leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. 
Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Credit burning a hole in your man purse, or what? There you go. Cheap in buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, okay. See Those ya, Corporal. Good kids. Oh, what do they call them? Newts? Yeah. I saw a whole group of them on the roof of this house we passed a few months back. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! Nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? Looking for your next easy target? It's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... What? Camp? It's a camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Ah, can't see a damn thing. Bushes are too thick. Diamond Lake. There's a militia camp. You gotta ask for Captain Curry. In here. Oh, man. Thanks. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was, I was a goner, you know? In these bushes? Woo. Thank you so much, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Keep your head down and run. Hold still, goddammit! Deacon. Pull it back! Okay, uh, you were saying? Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out.
Weaver, you there? With the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kit. You're gonna need one. Ore testing kit. Copy that. The uh, cinnabar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? <sighs> Nothing in here. <laughs> Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. Test you out. Yep, just pure enough. Okay, need more ore. More cinnabar. That's good. Good. Yes, you'll work. Come on, ore. Let's see how pure you are. Yeah, almost enough. Here we go, Cinnabar. Nice, this will work. And now I just gotta test it. Just one more. Yeah. All right, 
Let's see how pure this is. Okay, good. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. <sighs> up here. Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John! Ah! Good. Oh. Okay, what were you saying? St. John! Good, oh. good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, oh. hold on a sec. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger! Fuck off! St. John. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the oil as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver, out. <laughs> Good. Fuel can. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, 
How did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Just heading out to find you a dude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific loot? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid... Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <sighs> colony of Newts? Oh, God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. Alright, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts It says, like, teensy tap. A lot of ammo left. Got you, you little shit. Oh, Jesus. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Oh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men 
and officers. Oh, no, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on! So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. That's what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. What you put in that? That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought. Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back. Because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight in a war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. 
Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir.